Hi, I'm Susan. And I'm Casey. Welcome to the Imagine Cup World Finals Tech Showcase. The teams arrived bright and early this morning to set up their booths for the first round of judging. This is where it gets real. Okay. So you gotta like try and outwit them and trick them. Be clever, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll give you a quick rundown. Oh my gosh, yeah. all right. Oh, that's yeah. there. Go. During the tech showcase, each team will meet three judges. Each judge will have 10 minutes to check out the team's project and ask questions. The tech showcase was also our first opportunity to check out firsthand some of the projects these students brought to the world finals. Your glove actually allows somebody to read, so say, a normal book as if it was in Braille. Exactly. We made a special glove for blind people with which any printed text can be read just as it was written in Braille. And you only need a smartphone for that besides the glove. So you can scan any text with the phone and afterwards you can just drag the glove on anything like a table and read the text like it was written in Braille. Neurogate is a software platform that diagnoses neurodegenerative disease like Parkinson's, Huntington's, and ALS, and obviously healthy as well, <laughs> using just the Kinect sensor and our machine learning models. In 15 seconds, it'll tell you whether or not your walk represents one of these diseases or if you're healthy. We built this using a WPF.NET application, which takes input from the Kinect. It then pre-processes that and then sends it off to Azure Machine Learning Studio, which is able to classify whether or not it is showing actual characteristics of these diseases. What's the project you came up with that brought you all the way to World Finals? Well, we determine risk of stroke using ocular fundus image processing. We take a picture of the eye without pupil dilation, and then we send this picture to the Azure with the stream analysis, uh, cognitive services, and notification services. Then we retrieve uh, the results of the retinal image back to the application, and with general information about the patient, we determine his potential risk of stroke. Back in UAE, we noticed that uh, not everyone follows the labels on the recycling bins. Oh. And I think that applies to most countries, actually, so this does the job for you. We use the image processing. We also use the Universal Windows Platform application, and then just some motors to move the stuff around. Great, okay. So, you win the $100,000. What do you do with it? Well, you'll see this around every street. Seeing those projects was really inspiring. I'm glad I'm not a judge. It would be really hard deciding which of these teams to move forward. Agreed. The judges' scores will determine which 32 teams advance to the quarterfinals. But any teams who don't advance to the quarterfinals right away could still go through in the wildcard round. So stay tuned to find out which teams are still in the running to win the Imagine Cup.